Hello, this is Keith, and at my YouTube channel here, I talk about language learning, but sometimes I call it language acquisition. And the difference is often debated. It was even talked about by Steve Kaufman in December. And so today I would like to try to define it a little bit and uh, tell you about something that I have come up with. Um, perhaps one of the earliest known uses of the term acquisition is by uh, Stephen Krashen. And the reason he created it, the, this terminology is to separate it from the traditional uh, methods used for language learning because when people say, oh, I'm learning this language or that language, what they're usually doing is studying. Maybe they're taking a class or they could be studying on their own. But language acquisition is used to refer to a more natural process. And when you acquire language, it doesn't happen uh, step by step. It's not one word and then the next word. You don't acquire a piece of the language all at once. It's a very general process and you may sort of understand a word so you've acquired it a little bit. It doesn't mean to acquire doesn't mean suddenly all at once, but little by little you understand the words or the language better and better. And you cannot identify uh, which part of the language. You cannot say, oh I know this many nouns or uh, you do not usually know exactly what you have acquired because you understand some things, but maybe you don't fully understand them. But you have a kind of understanding. And as you get more exposure to the language, that your uh, that understanding that you've had becomes clearer, and you understand things better, rather than trying to study. Whereas in studying, you might know the translation for the word, and you say, "Oh, I know what this word means," and you can. Uh, give a definition, but it's actually a translation. Now, I have come up with a new uh, idea. Instead of saying that language acquisition is different than language learning, I want to separate it from language study. So in my view, language acquisition is also a form of language learning. So I've created this chart here to show that there are two paths for language learning. One is what I call natural acquisition and the other path is study and memorization where you look things up in a book and you try to memorize rules and you learn about the grammar and you can conjugate each form of a verb or know all the cases or you have uh, specific steps that you're going through. Whereas acquisition, natural acquisition is a gradual process and so I think it falls under the term language learning. So I'm going to use natural acquisition or language acquisition to also mean language learning. So if I'm asked how did I learn a language in the future instead of trying to say oh well, I didn't learn it I acquired it. Instead of doing that I will say that this is how I learned the language. And if the discussion gets deeper then I will talk about exactly how I learned it which will be the natural acquisition. Uh, 
So uh, this picture here, as you can see, let me see if I can. This picture of the guy here. I did not create that, so yes, the arrows are pointing out. If I had created that picture, I would have made some arrows pointing inward. So this model is the model I would like to propose when you think about language learning and language acquisition. Acquisition is learning. Uh, once you have acquired a language, you can say you have learned it. And it will not mean studying and memorizing in the traditional sense. So in conclusion, language acquisition is also learning. You will have learned a language but without studying. So there's a difference with studying but it's going to fall underneath language learning. And that is today's presentation. Thank you for watching.